Hey everybody, we're playing some more Pokemon. It's a couple weeks later. It's the first episode right after we, you know, finally got through the league. And today is gonna basically just be like an evolution special. We're just gonna evolve a bunch of Pokemon. I went ahead and went to Limoe City and I bought a, like 30 like Fire Leaf and um, whatever stones. Um, I leveled like 50, 50, like 15 Pokemon, like one level away from evolution. So we're going to just bang them out really quickly. Now, let me just, hey guys, um, really quickly, I'm just sitting here grinding, um, to <laughs> evolve some more Pokemon for the next episode. And we hit a full odds shiny girder, which is pretty nuts. Um, sadly I wasn't recording, so I couldn't, um, can't show you guys like the pop up, but, um. Yeah, I'm literally just sitting here grinding away, and it popped up in front of me, so oh, let's try to grab it. This was, honestly, I told myself if I'm going to sit here and grind like 70 Pokemon up to level 50, it's probably bound to happen, and I'm kind of at the end of my set here. I'm working on two EVs, trying to get them up to where I can get them into Umbreon and Espeon, um, and here it is. Yeah, I'm trying to be quiet because my wife is sleeping right next to me. And I've got work tomorrow in eight hours, but I'm sitting here playing Pokemon instead. Alright, come on. I'm like, hope that I wake her up. No, I think I'm good. Just stay in the ball. Let's go, dude. Alright. Technically, first full out shiny in the game because obviously we've gotten a bunch of fish shinies, but. Um, we haven't really gotten any full odds ones. Okay, so let's go take a look again. Look at that. Maybe turn on the music a little. Okay, really quick, let's just quickly box Staraptor real quick. I was just using um, him to fly around, but what we go ahead and do, you can see here, this is my evolution box, but the large majority of these are actually really close to evolving. So Cubone is about to evolve. Stunky, Loudred, Potamus, and Binacle. Okay, so these are the first six um, on the chopping block. So um, let's go ahead and run over. And again, hopefully they're all one level away. So theoretically, I mean, it'll be a couple of fights, but there shouldn't be that many fights before they level up. So, all right, we should have at least one evolution then. Here we go. See, I wasn't lying. I did get on one level away. All right, we're getting ourselves a Cubone. And yeah, I think we're at 370 something in our Pokedex. And I think there's um, a paintable like 500 something. So we, 100 something more Pokemon sounds like a lot, but it's really not considering we're gonna get at least like 20 to 30, hopefully this episode. So, and then there a good a good amount of them are probably well actually I know a couple of them. Actually not that many of them will be some of the post story. And then a good chunk of them I'll probably just have to trade to evolve. I do that with this game. I know in this game it's a little easier because um oh, it's lucky. there's gonna be an evolution. I do have like the emulator and uh, the one that I'm using is Citra. Does have the option of like you can actually trade with other people also using Citra. Um, but I feel like, I don't know. I mean, I might go through that process so it's an actual person that feels more legit. Um, but I don't know how to like get in contact with the person and like, tell them exactly what I need and you know what I'm saying. So, But it'll definitely get done. Also, this man just farted in my screen. It'll definitely get done though, for sure. So, does stun tank want skunk tank want to learn flamethrower? Sure, I will give my skunk the ability to shoot flames out of its mouth, and that will not cause any problems in the future. I'm sure. All right, who do we got? Another another Lickitung. I think Licky Licky is another Pokemon that I have not gotten yet. There we go. Now we should get three evolutions. So who's up first? Loudred. All right. Let's go ahead and get ourselves an Exploud. I do really like this Pokemon. Um, I don't know why. I, just, I like Exploud. Yeah, it's just one of the more memorable ones for me. It's just the one that I like. Um, I saw 
just for reference, because these videos are very delayed as far as the YouTube channel, I am playing right now around the time of the release of Scarlet and um, the other one, Violet, I think. And man, I'm looking at their Pokemon. Ooh, they're hot garbage. I don't say that very often. Honestly, I've been a pretty big fan of most of and there you go, the hip evolving. Of most of the recent games. Like if I think of like Gen like four, five, six, seven, eight. Is is this one nine? It's either eight or nine, whatever. All the past gens. I've actually yeah, I really like them. There's there's always been Pokemon that are like, oh that's a that's a sick Pokemon. And I'm looking at Scarlet and Violet, and there's a okay, there's a couple of cool ones. But most of them are absolute hot garbage. And like I'm and like the game itself. Alright, we got a binacle. Um the game itself, the graphics are dookie, dude. I've looked at it like Legends Arceus is better. And I thought Legends Arceus is bad. And it's even better than that. Imagine. So phew. anyway, I'm not gonna complain too much because like I'm not gonna play it because I you know, whatever. But hey, if you guys have played it yourself, likely you'll see this months later because that's how I do my YouTube channel. Tell me in the comments what you, and what you thought of the game real quick. I think that's everyone, right? Yep, okay. Everyone has been involved. Tell me in the comments what you think of the new Scarlet Violet games. We got Zuelis on 63, Goldlet on 42. Um, let's grab Metatite. How many more? We can grab two more. Is Shellgun at 50? I think so. And then Sligu. I think he needs to be evolved in the rain. I think Dragonair is there. Okay. Alright, here's our next little batch of Pokemon. Let's go ahead and go back out. Continue the grind again. Hopefully no skips. Um, any game that doesn't have all of the Pokemon is not a true Pokemon game. And here we go. We got ourselves as well as evolving. Like, how can your slogan be catch them all and then not have all the Pokemon inside your game? Like, there's only a thousand. There's not that many. And don't tell me with the Switch where you got games like... I don't know, like Breath of the Wild. You're telling me you can't fit a couple more uh, three miles into your game, Game Freak? Really? Really? Yeah, sure. So, ooh, we got our Hydreigon, though. Very nice. I do like Hydreigon quite a bit. Most, I'm not a fan of the back of his sprite, because it looks, he just has his butt hanging out with his tail. I think it looks a little weird, but building the world and making it a, like a decent game without glitches, or, because I, it's day one right now of Scarlet, and I'm already seeing, like, a lot of bugs and glitches you got your starters falling through the floor when you're trying to catch a magic carp like the day i see a game that's designed good looks good and like clearly they cared about even if it's missing pokemon you know what i'll still give it a try but as of this moment we got ourselves a metatite um pretty cool metacham not metatite so I'll probably stop ranting about those games now. I feel like at this point I'm getting into complaining territory, but I've got a video to fill and I'm chilling here by myself. So I guess I got I gotta talk about something right, but And I realized I am okay, there we go. I'm like let me let me get some levels going, huh? Alright, we got our golem evolving though. We'll go ahead and get a golem running. And then after we get most of the level ones done, we'll we'll that that's when we're actually gonna start rapid firing them because of the stones. Those are don't even need all those are just bam 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 bam. So all right, there we go. We got ourselves a golem. Indeed. He made a funny noise at me. He has weird knees. I don't know why they made his knees like that, but they look kind of sick. They just like thick thigh, knee, thick calf. <laughs> All right, let's see how many we got Hydreigon, Golurk, Metacham. Okay, so we just got Shellgon and Dragonair, and I'm hoping they'll both be close enough maybe in the next fight to evolve. I actually want to start playing those Sly Cooper games. Um, nope, there's the Dragonair. No Shellgon. I want to play the Sly Cooper games. Full one through four. They're fairly shorter games, so I don't think it'd be that hard to do. Um, that might not happen if the emulator. If I can't find a decent emulator, it might not happen, but. That's right now what I'm thinking that I want to do. But the games also might be super boring, so maybe I just won't even do them. There we go. We got ourselves a good old Dragonite. Very cool. Straight out of Dragon Tails, huh? Wing attack? No, I don't need wing attack. I don't know. Um, for certain reasons I'm not going to get into, but um, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to get our Salamence. 
Yeah, I don't tend to play new games very often. I just like to play old games. So, Sly Cooper might be the next game we go to, just because it's one that I played in my childhood, and maybe. But before we even do that, I'm speaking of slightly different training, there's still a lot to do in Pokemon X. Um, like getting all the cool Pokemon, like Salamence. There we go. Get ourselves a Salamence. There are still many, many Pokemon to get. There's, of course, the entirety of the post game, which I think compared to other games, Pokemon X has a, actually a fairly short post game. Um, so there's not going to be too, too, too much, but of course, that's what we got to do. Alright, we can finally get out of here. We evolved all five Pokemon in our party. So there's ten. There's a couple more that need level evolution, so we're not done yet. Alright, Hydreigon. Still a couple. Ferroseed, Slugma. Okay, um, hold on. Let me actually... I neglected to look up when... Licky Tongue Evolution Level. What does he evolve? Mianfu, I think, can evolve. I think we need one more. What else can we grab? Ooh. Ninkata. Mm, but I need to have a spot open for Ninkata here. So you know what? Actually, well, let's just go evolve one Pokemon and then we'll probably just run back and um, leave a spot open for Ninkata because we do need to have um, one spot open so we can get Ninjask and the other one. Oh, watching five Pokemon evolve all at the same time. Alright, Slugma. Alright, that's fine. That's just the one. Now I can put Slugma back into the box and that way at least when Ninkata evolves we'll have an extra spot for the Ninjask. Okay, so we'll have to find the move guy. There's a couple Pokemon that actually do that, weirdly enough. What cargo? I found like a. It, I forgot if it was on TikTok or Reddit, but it was a funny meme of like in the anime, a child was hugging Macargo. And it was just like. Macargo's literally lava. I think his Pokedex thingy says he's literally like hundreds of thousands of degrees. Like. That is not a good idea, small child, but you do you, I guess. Okay, now we have a spot open for Ninkata, so... Um, although it is an empty spot, it is technically not an empty spot. It just belongs to Ninjask for now. Okay. Hopefully most of them are close to evolving here, so... It shouldn't take too much longer, considering we've already done, like, 15 battles... Just gonna hit him with a dazzling gleam. Bono. All right. There we go. Pharaoh seed. And then God is not gonna evolve. All right. Well, well we got Pharaoh seed coming up. Oh, okay. I'm like, are you gonna spin Pharaoh seed? Is is it glitched? D does Pharaoh seed not spin? There we go. And I forgot, what was this name? Something Thorn? Pharaoh Thorn, okay. I love how I remembered the harder part of it. I remembered the Thorn, I didn't remember the Pharaoh. But considering the other one's Pharaoh's Seed, but whatever. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and keep doing our thing here. Keep fighting while I do some research. Hmm. X and Y move tutor. Okay. I'll hit him with a surf. Uh, in Dendemil Town. Alrighty. In Dendemil Town is one of our next objectives here. I keep blowing up my starfish. That's not very nice of you, Graveler. Not very nice of you at all. Axu 38. Actually, Axu is one of those Pokemon that, um, we, we're getting it to its second evolution, but we actually need to get it to its third, so we're gonna have to probably keep Axu with us quite a bit longer. Um, but, uh, 
Uh, Hacksters will probably come a different episode because it needs a, it's gonna need another like 20 levels. But it was one level away from its second, so I couldn't like evolve it mid, you know, because I am showing every evolution on screen for if my life depends on it. So okay, well let's keep fighting. So we still need the Ninkata. But yes, okay, Dendamil Town is where we gotta go. Alright, there we go, we got that evolution though. Sure, we'll give you high jump kick about fake out. Okay. Bang. And we got its evolution. But a but Got a lot of papers next to me. Let's see if I'm missing any texts. Do I have to be doing something that I should be doing that I'm not? No, I think I'm good. I will not get yelled at. Cool. All right, here we go. Mian Shao. I think that's what it is. Very cool Pokemon. I don't get its thingy. How are you supposed to fight when you're like, eh, whatever? But like, I like its, I like its colors. Honest, yeah. I'd... Oh, here we go. Nakata's evolving. I just, I just don't like it, man. And then, surprisingly, and you guys know, I absolutely hate most grass types. If I had to play that game, I would choose the grass type starter because I think the last evolution of the grass type starter is all right. Um, actually, no, it's pretty good. It's not even all right. It's good. Like, I, I genuinely am slightly impressed with that third one of the grass type. I do like that one. All right, here we go. Ninja wants to learn double team. Sure. There you go. So yes, I do like the grass one. Um, I'm not a fan of the fire or the water. Fury Cutter. I'm just scared. Whatever. We'll just give it these moves. And right, Ninja, ask you. You can have whatever you want. You can have whatever moves you want, bud. Bro, Screech too. Fine. We'll get rid of Santa Tag. You can have whatever moves you want there, bud. As long as you start shutting up. Stop giving me so many options. Here we go. Okay, so now... Okay, we have the ninjas, but we also get the Shed Ninja. It's pretty cool. Okay, do we have all of them? Yeah, okay. So, the only thing is we can still get the Haxorus, but we'll... Again, there will be at least one more Evolution Special episode, considering this one's already gone long enough, and I'm like, no, we're near done. Um... So, yes, there, which Haxorus will take place in that one, most likely. But what I do want to do right now is the Stone Pokemon. Because that one's going to be a lot quicker than what we're doing now. Okay, so let's just grab all of the these Pokemon. Do I have a Thunderstone? I hope I have a Thunderstone. And then we'll grab Roserade. There we go. Okay, now it's time to pull out the stones. I forgot where the stones are. Are they here? Nope, they're in the last one. Okay, leaf stone. Alright, Pansage, you get an evolution. And this is gonna be, if anything, the cooler part, because we'll have a lot of evolutions back to back to back, but also the more boring part, because there's no fighting to do. We just sit here and just gotta look at the screen and watch them. Another scam? Bro, how many? I've gotten two scam calls in like 30 minutes. What in the world, dude? Nice Mohawk, Pan Sage. Or Simi Sage, sorry. I miss. Yeah, Simi Sage. Nice Mohawk, dog. Alright, Pan Poor, you're next. Are you gonna be Simi Poor? What are you gonna be? I'm not. I don't like these monkeys. I think they're weird. I think that they were a weird aesthetic choice to put in the game. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a big fan of, um,. I don't, this aesthetic of like having three of the same Pokemon but just a different typing, I just think it's weird. It it took it takes up six slots, six slots in a Pokemon game, and none of them are particularly cool to be honest. So, semi poor, and they look weird. This one looks like your grandma who was going outside to water the plants. Okay, let's see what else do we got? Some where's my fire? Oh, it's shiny stone. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and uh, make. Roselia Evolve, then. We'll get the Firestone in a minute. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Favorite Pokemon. One of my favorite. It's... I think I made, like, a top 10 Pokemon, like, years ago, actually. I'm pretty sure Roserade was in that. 
Ooh, voice crack. Um, I do love Roserade. Definitely, I could probably in confidence say my favorite grass type Pokemon, for sure. Um, I didn't use it in my top six just because I guess I just didn't think of it at the time, but um, yeah, where the heck is, oh, there's, I was like, where the heck is my Firestone? And then I don't know if I have a Thunderstone. Ooh, I might have to go grab one of those at a later date. So yeah, whatever we don't get done today, basically whatever I can't do in this moment will be the next episode. So if like I don't have like a Moonstone or a Dusk Stone or a Thunderstone or whatever other stones, if I don't have them, I'll grab them in between episodes and we'll get another evolution little video in another episode. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves that. Do I have a Thunderstone? I wish there was like a... Can I like search? Is there a way to like search? Wait, I just saw Thunderstone. Ah, we do have two of them. Alright, I'm like, what? I'm not I'm not actually reading the text. I'm just scrolling through, and whenever they're, the Pokemon says Able, I'm like, oh, okay. So, I didn't see the Thunderstone. I just saw Pikachu's green Able thing. I'm like, oh, okay. Here we go. We're going to get ourselves a Raichu. Pretty cool. And it's it's... I love Pikachu, sort of, not really. I like Pikachu. I don't like Pikachu as much as some other people like Pikachu, but I'm sad that it's kind of overshadowed by Ra or is overshadowed by Pikachu. Um, I wish they would have given Pikachu a cooler evolution. I, mean, I guess in that moment, they didn't realize how big Pikachu was going to be, and I guess they didn't give it that much thought. Maybe as much as they should have. But, yeah, I'm a little, a little sad about Raichu, but it's alright. Alright, what else we got here? We got Lombre. So we need a Water Stone. I, th I don't know what that needs. I think it needs a Leaf Stone. And then, I don't know what any of you need. What do you need? I don't know what you need. Okay, well, let's grab this. Let's see what we can do with what stones we got on hand here. Bag. Thunderstone. No Thunderstones. Anyone Firestone? Nope. Moonstone? None of you Moonstone. Ooh. What is this? Sunstone? Alright. The Sunstone will be given to Gilioptile. There you go. Lucky winner of one Sunstone. Boom. Boom. And I do like the evolution of this. Here the old list, right? Something like that. I do like this one. Um, not very strong, and I would never use it in battle, but I think it's a cool design Pokemon. I'll say it that much. Very, more, a little more, like, it's like, it's not super original, but it's just original enough to where, like, that's a Pokemon, you know? Okay, I think we might have to go all the way to the bottom. I think we got a lot of water stones and two leaf stones coming up. Are right, we gonna get ourselves a Ludicolo? Bum, bum, bum. I like Ludicolo. One of the better grass types, for sure. My problem is, I guess, like grass types and bug types kind of come hand in hand in a lot of aspects, and the bug types are usually hot garbage. Partly because bug types are trash, but also because I think they look gross. But that's just me. All right, let's go ahead and give Poliwhirl a little water, a little water stone here. We can get ourselves a Poliwrath. Oh, okay. Example of one. So it's weird. I'm a huge fan of Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, and Poliwag. I really like their designs, but here's my problem. I like their designs individually. I don't like their designs as a cohesion, I think. They were extremely unoriginal with the pathing of the evolutions. It's annoying because I like every single one of them, but I really wish they would have done something different. Um, yeah. I don't like how they're basically just... Like, Poliwhirl and Poliwrath are basically not different. Slightly bigger, like... So, one example of a Gen 1 Pokemon where I'm like, yeah, I wish you could... It's Gen 1, right? I think it's Gen 1. I wish they would have tried a little harder. Victory Bell, I'm actually a pretty huge fan of. Um, very weird design, but it's very original. So, I do like it. 
Now, okay, Skip Bloom. Is that a level Pokemon? Skip Bloom Evolution. Are you a level Pokemon? Starting at level 27. Oh, oops. Okay, well then, we'll have to do... We'll have to do Skip Bloom a, a net, another day, because I'll have to get it a few levels. Okay, I'm in the wrong box. Okay. I don't know how many Moonstones I have. I don't think I have enough Moonstones. Let's just grab a few Pokemon here. Um, I don't know how many of you... Let's see what we can do. Right. Alright. Pokemon. Oh, no, not Pokemon. I need to go to my bag. Okay, Leaf Stone. Okay. I didn't know if Execute was, um... Was it Leaf Stone or if it was something else? I was pretty sure it was a Leaf Stone. Partly because... I literally just did this in Fire Green, not Fire Green, Leaf Green, not that long ago. So I just one that I probably should not execute. Very nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about Pokemon with multiple heads. I've never been like a huge, ooh, I've never been a huge fan of Pokemon with multiple heads. Like Hydreigon is all right. Executes all right. Who else has multiple heads? Whoever else has multiple heads. Like Giraffe Rig, I'm not a huge fan of either. I can one of you evolve. Moonstone. Okay. I don't have. Oh, actually, two moons. Okay, so I will have enough for the Need Arena too. Um. Yeah. And so an another thing, I will give praise to Pokemon X. The large majority of the Pokemon are able to be gotten inside the game. That's something that is admirable. There we go, get ourselves a Nido King. A lot of other games, they there's just so many Pokemon you need to trade and get from a, the, the different other copy, and man, it can get frustrating. Okay, well here's what we'll do. I think we have one more Moonstone. We're gonna go ahead and get that to Nido Arena. And then we'll probably just need to get... We'll need to find more, I guess. Is the answer here. Where is my Moonstone? There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get Need Arena evolved. And we'll probably just need to find some more Moonstones later. And there is a couple of Pokemon that evolved by evolution that apparently I did not know about on accident. So, um, I think I put them in a different box because the first box is full and I didn't realize it. So, I might spend a little time here and actually just evolve some of them. It, they're all going to take quite a few levels, but I might just spend some time to do it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and deposit... As a neat arena. Okay, all right, here we go. We got ourselves the skip loom. This one was, this one was the easier one because it was only 27, and I think it was already like 20 something. So this one was one of the easier ones. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and run back and grab Axu just so I don't waste the XP coming in here. I'm a min max type XP type person. I'm not gonna let Jump Love just get a bunch of XP for no reason. So I will go back right now and uh, go ahead and grab Axu. Okay, um, another one, very, very quickly. Tentacool. Go ahead and get ourselves our Tentacruel. Dude, it'd be so cool if Tentacruel had a third evolution. Hopefully, in one of these days, they, they give Tentacruel a third evolution. I think they could do something really, really cool. As long as they don't do what they did with uh, Horsey. I think hi the third evolution of Horsey is hot garbage, but that's just... Okay, here we go. Another evolution. We got ourselves our Psyduck evolving. Bump, bump, bump. And also, here's one thing that I neglected to do, which I will do now. There is a couple Pokemon, like I said earlier, that we need to trade to evolve. But, they still need to be in their second evolution to do that. So, okay, there's our Gold Duck. I will have to grab, um... Okay, we got another one. Solosis. Let's do this. Wait, ooh, wait. Solosis has two evolutions, does it not? And then Reniculus 41. Okay, so we evolved it. 
But we actually, we're gonna have go ahead and uh, let it stick around in our uh, little party thing because it's not at its final yet. Okay, there we go. Duosis. No, Duos, du Duosia, or whatever. All right, back. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves the Machop evolving. So now we will not be able to get the third just yet because, of course, we'll have to trade. But we at least get the second going. Get ourselves a Machoke. Very, very cool Pokemon. Um, once again, a little biased because I'm a Gen 1-er, but... Um, yeah, I do like Machamp and Machoke quite a bit. Okay, hey, here we go. We got ourselves the Zubat evolving into the Golbat. Now, um, Crobat does not need anything super special. I think it's just high friendship. So, um, I guess we'll just keep Crobat in our party, keep fighting, keep loving it up. Because I think it gets, uh, gets friendship with levels up. So, we'll just keep it in there. We'll keep going. So, yeah. Okay, here we go. We got our vanilla evolving into Vanillish, right? Vanillite into vanil Vanillish, which evolves into Vanillux at 47. Ooh. Okay, 47 is a high number. We got a little bit longer to go, it seems. All right, cool. Well, there is the first evolution of it. We still got a little bit more to go, though. Okay, here we go. We got ourselves the third evolution. Man, we got here quick. I thought it was like 40-something. Apparently it's 30-something. I forget things very easily, apparently. Okay, but we got ourselves the third evolution. Here we go. Very nice. We got ourselves Ranunculus. Pretty cool Pokemon. I do like it. Um... Slightly weirds me out that it looks like a fetus, but um, hey, they're over a thousand Pokemon at this point. There's, they've got to have at least one fetus Pokemon. Okay, everybody. So I think we did enough evolutions today, and plus I'm at like an hour twenty in recording, and um, we've still got a lot more to do. So we'll do it in the next episode. Um, I've got a couple Pokemon here. Fractious needs to go up. Vanilla needs to go up. Rhyhorn needs to go up. And then Chingling and Golbat are both like friendship based so i don't know how long that's gonna take but we'll take care of all of that in the next episode let me go ahead and give it a quick saver rule here and let's see what are we at now we are how many pokemon are we at 390 okay almost to 400 cool well hey guys um i'll get to prepare for the next episode and we'll do it then